hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here it's lovely to have you but if you're old hey boo it's nice to have you back today we are making something really easy and delicious when i said this is easy trust me it is really easy we're going local today we're making fufu and light soup okay so this video is mainly about the light soup okay it was one of the one of the soups that i used to eat a lot when I was pregnant, it was good for me, it was nutritious, it was delicious, it was easy to make, and then everybody loves it. And it's pocket friendly actually, because we're making it with just beef and then some smoked mackerel. So let's get right into the video. What I do when I'm preparing my life soup, first of all, I try to get my vegetables into my pot and then boil them. Okay, I do that first before I touch any other thing, so that by the time I need other things to go on, our vegetables are ready. So I'm using some tomatoes, some garden eggs, some onions, and then some red scotch bonnet peppers. So I cut all the garden eggs into twos. Make sure you take off the crown or the head and then cut it into two. So I check to make sure that there are no worms or there are no spalt bits inside. So anytime you cut your garden eggs into two, please make check and then make sure it is really clean and good to eat, okay? So I'm taking, I'm peeling my onions now. And then you have to make sure you're going to use enough onions because onions really make our soups delicious. It makes most dishes delicious. So don't forget to add enough onions, okay? So for me, I'm using three medium-sized onions. Now I'm using about five um, medium-sized tomatoes. And then you can see a lot of garden eggs in there, but I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use just two. So that makes four pieces, okay? The others I'm going to use for garnishing later because I like to have garden eggs on my fufu. Okay, you know that thing, You're local and like really good and really delicious. I love my vegetables. So I'm going to wash all of these really nicely and then I'm going to put them into a clean pot with water and set them on fire. Now I have kids at home so I'm very mindful when I'm using my scotch bonnet peppers. I didn't use all, all of what I have in there. So please use the peppers according to your taste and your heat level, okay? So please know your peppers well and then use them accordingly. Because if there's too much pepper in your light soup, you won't enjoy it, you won't enjoy it at all. So once that is done, I've set it on fire and it's going to boil. What I'm doing now is getting ready my spices for my beef. So in my blender, I have some ginger, some garlic, I'm adding some fresh thyme now. I have some um, complete seasonings. I'm going to list all of these ingredients in the description box below. So please don't forget to check them out, okay? Check them out, I'm leaving everything there. And if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section below and I'll answer every single one of them. Now I'm adding some fresh thyme here. I love thyme on my meats. I just love the flavor, the taste, the aroma it adds to my meat all the time. Now I've added some water to my blender now and I'm going to blend everything till it's smooth. Guys, we're almost hitting a thousand subscribers. Thousand organic subscribers. Yippee! I cannot wait. And for me to be able to grow with you guys, please don't forget to share my videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to interact with my videos so that people can discover my videos as well. And when you share my videos, people come and watch them and then um, subscribe to my channel as well. Then I can grow and grow with you guys as well. Now our spice blend is ready. We're gonna set it aside and get our beef together. I have washed this really cleanly. So I've added it to, you can add some vinegar and then wash it nicely and then take off all the germs that may be on your meat before cooking. Always make sure you wash your, your meat before you cook, okay? So I'm setting all of them into my cooking pot and then I'm going to pour my spices over it and I'm going to add some salt and then cook it for a while. Not too long, just a little while. Now here's a trick. After you pour your spices over the beef, leave the beef or leave the... The, the mix to sit for about 30 minutes just to marinate that is where the magic is it's so good if you don't have time just go ahead and cook it but if you leave it for just 30 minutes it makes a whole lot of difference in your soup so give that a try okay so now our meat is on fire our vegetables are also ready 
the, the water that I use in cooking my vegetables is what I'm going to use in blending it. So I'm not losing any in, in nutrients or whatever. All of that is going right into my cooking pot. How exciting is that? <laughs> now the water is quite hot. Please make sure your water is not hot. Otherwise you're going to break your blender. You're going to break it down too fast. I am too or a little bit nutty sometimes and then I go ahead and blend it hot okay so when I do that I just take off the little bit or the little part of the blender cover just so the heat can come out then it's not trapped in there because when it's trapped it's really dangerous okay so now I'm adding a little bit of tomato paste just one tablespoon of tomato paste to my vegetables to so the tomato onion peppers and then I'm going to blend that as well until it's really smooth. Once we are done blending this mixture, we're gonna sieve or strain it. Now the purpose of that is to prevent us from having chaff in our soup because we want our soup to look as clean as possible. So it's nice and then it looks very presentable. Talking of presentation, I get so many comments all over my social media on Instagram on Facebook by the way I've linked all of my socials over here on my YouTube so please click and follow me on all social media and um, people always comment about how I present my food and how they look lovely and stuff like that yes I have this belief and that is your food or how you present your food should be as good as how your food tastes so you have to make sure that you present your food very very well at the end of the day that's the final product that's the output that's what you're presenting so how you present it is going to testify in how you cooked it i don't know if you understand me but hey the, the, don't mind my too many talks just make sure you present your food very nicely and if you want me to teach you guys how i present my dishes kindly let me know in the comment section below and i'm going to film a video on that on how i present my dishes okay i'll do that for you guys why not we are winning together. We are winning hearts together with our cooking. Now I've added my, my mix to the beef or the steam that I was doing. And then after that, I added some water to lighten it up a little bit. I mean, it's light soup, so it has to be light. Then I also added some stock cube to it. Now I'm gonna stir it. I haven't added any salt anymore because I believe the salt I, I used is steaming. And then the salt um, in the meat and then the salt in the stock cube is gonna work perfectly for the soup. Now I'm adding my mackerel. I always add my mackerel about 15 minutes before the, the soup is cooked just so the aroma or the taste of the mackerel can marry with the soup. And that is because if you put the, the mackerel in earlier, it can break into pieces and get mushed up in your soup. But you don't want that one in whole. So you put, when you put it in, in whole, you can choose to divide it later when you're dishing your food. Now our food is ready. Our soup is ready. Look at that fufu. And look at that very simple dish. Like very simple soup, right? Just beef and mackerel. But hey, it tastes amazing. You will love it. Let me know in the comment section below if you try it. And let me know how it goes or how it went. Let me know if you enjoyed it or not. But believe me, I know you will enjoy it. Now you can have this with whatever you want, with some rice, with some a little bit of um, boiled okra and banku, kenke, whatever you want. Just go ahead and enjoy your food. Now my food is ready. I'm going to enjoy it. Don't forget, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And please share and share and share so that we can grow. Almost 1K. We are celebrating Christmas hidden 1K. Now I'll be uploading faster or uh, more frequent than usual because it's Christmas and we have so many things to cook. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what future videos you'd like to see. Let me know if you make this food and I hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas to everybody and have a beautiful and safe celebration. Bye!